Welcome to our spring break senior artists. This year, what we are doing for our senior artists, in your bag, you are going to find three different colored papers. We have black, we have some purple, and blue. So we have three different projects. You're also going to get um, a baggie that has some different pieces of tissue paper. And we're gonna be using those for two different projects, so don't use them all at once. Also, in another bag, you will have a container, which happens to be a, just a small uh, sample of some Mod Podge. You're also going to get this tiny little container, and in there you are going to have a sample of our acrylic paint. You are going to get a flat paintbrush. We're going to be using this uh, for two of our projects. We're also going to be using it one time around with our paints. Another time around, we're going back in and we're using it for our Mod Podge. So, as you use your supplies, such as your paintbrush, you are going to be needing some water. Because if you don't, this is what happens to your paintbrush. This one happens to have sat in some of the uh, Mod Podge overnight. So it just becomes one solid piece. It acts like a big acrylic uh, thing. So at home, you're going to want to have some water just to be able to rinse out your brush when you're done. Because once you finish your painting, we're going to want to get rid of that and then it will be followed up the next day or another hour or so while we're going to be sealing it. Other items that you're going to need from home are some scissors. They could be this size. I just happened to grab my, my big scissors, but uh, you'll need some scissors to do some cutting. And on our um, in our bag, we also have some things to write with. We have a black permanent marker, a Sharpie, as well as a gold Sharpie. When we finish our final project, you might want to add some color to it. So if you happen to have some pencil crayons at home, or if you've got some just regular crayons or crayons, these ones happen to be crayons for uh, construction paper. So they might uh, be something fun to have. So we're gonna get started. And we are going to do something really, really, really strange. We are gonna work on two projects part A, and tomorrow we are going to finish those two projects. So we get our painting done, and it can dry, and then the next day we are going to do the next step. So by doing so, I will show you what our finished products are going to be looking like. Um, we are going to be visiting Rome, and we are going to be making a Roman goblet. I don't know how well you can see that on your... Uh, Time. We are also going to be doing St. George's Church, and it's not so much the fact that we're doing a church uh, visiting England, but it's the um, architecture and all of this, the shapes and details that we're going to be putting on. So we are going to work on these two today. So we're going to take our, our pictures are in a um, portrait setting so we're short across the sides and nice and tall and I guess the one thing I didn't ask you to do was to find a pencil but what we're going to do with this is we are going to do a sketch on our white piece of paper and that'll give us an idea of where we want to lay things out so with our St. George's uh, we have sort of a, a rectangle that we're going to have and we are going to have it sitting on another rectangle that's going to be a little bit wider. And we do have some stairs coming on the bottom. So we're going to have a smaller rectangle where our staircase is going to come out. Now with that, we end up, we have like a triangle is going to sit on top. So it's about halfway. I'm going to put my triangle on there. 
and we're going to have some columns going up the sides. So we are going to add it onto here and we're going to put on a rectangle on either side, about the same height as our original rectangle that we started with. And you can make it fancy by putting some maybe rectangles on their sides. And behind our triangle, we are going to go back, uh, go up and make it almost like we have another rectangle, if you can see that rectangle here. And on top is a big dome. So it's like a semicircle. So we're going to go in the center, draw a curved line down on either side, and up top there was actually a cross on the top of the church of St. George's. So again, it's not a matter of, you know, we're just doing this to um, give us a space idea. We're going to draw another rectangle on top of uh, our smaller ones that are sideways. And again, it's going to be about to the ed edge of where our um, dome is. If your lines aren't straight, that's okay. And we're going to do maybe something like a smaller one. And we're going to put little domes on top of these, sort of like an upside down letter U. And little circles on top of that. And they will eventually have little crosses on there. So without too much detail, we have an idea where we're going with this. If you feel comfortable with drawing that on here, you can. Another thing you could do is actually cut out shapes with your white, pa your white paper and your scissors, and that gives you a better idea where you want to put things. So again, I'm just going to quickly uh, draw these shapes. They don't have to be perfect because that's not what we're, we're not about perfection. We're about product. So once you have an idea of where you want your everything to, to sit, we will take our small container of paint and they have like a, a little split side. One fl flips up, the other stays down. So we're just going to peel those apart. So we're going to take our paintbrush and dip it in. And we're, it doesn't even have to be perfect. We're just going to go over the whole area that, that we just outlined. And cover up all, all that space. And remember that this paint is going to have to dry before we can do anything else with our our paint or with our picture. If you've done it and it hasn't completely covered the area, that's okay because tomorrow when we uh, come back to this, once it's dried, we will actually um, be covering it all up with our tissue paper. So and I see by the use of this we're going to modify what we're doing with our other one. So that is a area and then we're going to have our little staircase at the bottom. So this actually should probably use up all of your paint and that's okay because we're going to do it a little differently with our next 
paint with our next picture. And there we go. So might want to just add the rest just anywhere, just to kind of clean it out so you're not throwing it all in the garbage. And we're done with that, but we're going to want to rinse out our brush really well because we'll be using this later for our Mod Podge. So I'm just going to pop it in my water, give it a couple of good stirs around because we want it to end up being nice and pliable instead of like the one I showed you earlier that is just like one big hard piece. We're going to put that aside and we're going to work on this one tomorrow. It doesn't look all that very impressive right now, but it will be. For the, our second one, like I say, you can kind of see the beginnings, the taking shapes of how we are going to end up going from one to the other. Now with this one, I found that it was very hard to modify and, and get the glass to show up at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper and I switched it up because I thought, you know, usually it's people who are going to have nice Roman goblets like that are probably like royalty. So we are going to switch it up and we're going to uh, purple. and. And then I thought, well, you know, we want it to be symmetrical and that means being the same on both sides. So I thought what we could do is we could fold over our paper, folding it in half. And what we're going to do is we are going to sketch up about, oh, maybe we're gonna come down like the big letter U. But we're not going to come all the way over because we want this to be the stem. And we're going to pop back out. And now we're going to take our scissors and kind of cut along those lines. Do I want something quite so big? Probably not. But now I can say, I think I'm going to trim this down a bit in this direction. So I'm just going to take off a bit here. Does that look more like what I might want? I think we'd be good with that. So you can. Uh, use a glue stick and tack it down if you'd like. If not, you can open up your Mod Podge, which is uh, our little container. And this is what we're going to use tomorrow as well. And we're taking our, and since I've got some here, I'm just going to take some off the edge and I'm just going to tack it down because not only is this nice and shiny, it is also quite much like the glue when it sticks down. So we're going to just kind of line it up there. I'm just going to stick it down this way. And I'm going to pull it off the lid. So just, you know, I'm going to add some there. And we will put both creations that we've made today and this and the other one, and we will see you tomorrow.